What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and it's been a few years since I did a video on ways to improve the Wi-Fi in your home, and things have changed quite a bit. So today I'm gonna give you five ways to improve your Wi-Fi. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Now, if you're anything like me, you've probably been ordering a lot of takeout with all that's been going on. Well, after eating a bunch of unhealthy junk food, HelloFresh came to the rescue so I could make some healthy and delicious meals. So if you've never heard of HelloFresh, it's America's most popular meal kit. They offer 50 different menu items for you to choose from each week, including vegetarian, low calorie, and pescatarian options. And it's not just limited to dinner. They have breakfast, desserts, and even seasonal snacks like holiday cheese and cookies. So once you pick a plan, they send out all the ingredients straight to your door. Now, I'll be honest and tell you that I'm nobody's chef in the kitchen, but the step-by-step -step instructions were perfect for people like me. The process was really easy, and since the ingredients are pre-portioned, it's great for families so you don't end up wasting food. So I put on my Chef Majestic hat and cooked up some miso apricot chicken, which is probably the healthiest meal I've had in ages. The entire experience was amazing, and the food was delicious. So to get started with yours, go to HelloFresh.com and use the promo code ChrisMajestic14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. You can also use the link in the video description. I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and let's jump back into it. So probably the most common question that comes up related to Wi-Fi is how to improve the Wi-Fi in your home. Maybe you're getting slow speeds or you have a weak signal in certain areas. Well today I'm going to share five things that you can try that might help you out. Now, before I get into it, one really important thing to remember is that your Wi-Fi or internet connection speed is always limited by the speed you're paying for from your internet service provider or ISP. In other words, if the speed you're paying for is 200 meg download and 10 meg upload, you'll never see speeds much higher than that when you run speed tests. So no matter what kind of router or signal booster you buy, it's not gonna change this. All right, so now we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into it. So these are in no particular order, but the very first thing on our list of ways to improve your Wi-Fi is to move your router. Now, every home is different, but generally most routers benefit from being placed higher. So if the router is sitting in the corner of your basement, you could definitely benefit from moving it to the first or second floor. And aside from moving your router, another thing you can do is move obstructions or items that might be causing interference. And one really common issue is microwaves. Putting your router near a microwave can cause your devices to lose a wireless connection whenever the microwave is turned on. It's also really important to make sure your router is out in the open and not sitting under furniture or inside of a cabinet as that can also affect your performance. The next thing to check when it comes to improving your Wi-Fi is to make sure you don't have too many internet connected devices for your plan. So like I mentioned earlier, you pay for a certain speed from your ISP. Well, depending on how fast your speeds are, the devices in your home might be using up a lot of that speed, causing other devices to slow down. One easy way to test this is to do a wired speed test using a laptop or desktop computer. To do this, you just use an ethernet cable to connect your computer to your router and go to a site like speedtest.net and run a speed test. And if your download speeds are really low, like 10 megs or less, then you may either have too many devices for your plan, you could be overloading your router, or you may have an issue with the connection to your ISP. Most people tend to focus on download speeds and ignore upload, but if your upload speeds are really slow, it can have a major impact on your devices and cause slowness. But if you run a speed test and you get really slow speeds, it's best to talk to your ISP to make sure there isn't an issue with the connection coming into your home. And if they don't find any equipment issues, then you may wanna to talk to them about upgrading to a faster internet plan. Now, if your wired speed test is good, but your wireless tests are slow, then it's possible that you may have too many devices or too much traffic on your router. To test this, you could try turning off some of your wireless devices that are known to use a lot of data to see if speeds improve. This includes things like smart TVs, video streamers, game consoles, or laptops. And if turning off some of these devices helps, then that may mean your router can't handle these devices and you might benefit from buying a new one. And this brings us to the next option on our list, which is buying a new router. So as I mentioned earlier, slow Wi-Fi speeds can be caused by your router being overloaded. Now some routers are better than others and some ISPs do give you a decent router with your service, but if your router is several years old or if you have more than 20 or 30 wireless devices, then you might benefit from buying a new router. 
Now I did a video on this in the past, so I won't go too deep into it, but replacing an older router can certainly improve your wireless speeds since it might have more powerful antennas, it might have more modern features that allow it to handle more devices or prioritize certain devices over others, and it'll likely support newer wireless standards which can greatly improve your speeds and coverage. And this brings us to our fourth option, which is a mesh router, also known as a mesh wireless system. Now I've done multiple videos on these, but a mesh router is a wireless router that comes with two or more access points. You basically connect the main router to the internet and then you put the other units in other parts of your house where you're having signal issues. Mesh routers have become really popular over the past few years since they're easy to set up and they cover a much larger area. This makes them great for big homes or homes with a lot of dead zones. Now the downside to these systems is that they can be pretty expensive, ranging anywhere from a hundred bucks to over a thousand. And if you're interested in buying one of these, I've done multiple videos comparing the different models over the years, so I'll put some links in the video description where I go over some of the different models so you can see what works best for your budget and your home. And last on our list of ways to improve wireless is a wireless extender, also known as a signal booster. Now in the past, I've advised people to stay away from wireless extenders, but extenders have improved quite a bit over the years. And if your router is fairly modern and you're having issues getting a signal in a certain part of your house and you don't wanna spend a lot of money, then you might benefit from buying one of these. Most of them just plug right into an outlet and you can use an app on your phone to connect it to your existing Wi-Fi and you instantly get much better Wi-Fi in that part of the house. Now this doesn't work perfectly in every situation, but if you're looking for something really simple and cheap, it might work great for you. All right, so that was the fifth item on our list, but I do have a couple of bonus items I wanna include. Another simple and free thing you can do is update the firmware on your router. If your router software is out of date, it might cause some issues, so it might be worth checking for updates. Another thing you can do if you're tech savvy is try switching to a different wireless channel. You can download a Wi-Fi analyzer app on your phone to see which channels are less crowded and try switching to it to see if that helps with some of your issues. Now, of course, this list doesn't include every possible thing you can do to improve the Wi-Fi in your house, but if you do all of the things on this list and you still have issues, then you either live in a mansion or you might live in an underground bunker. But hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so you get notified whenever I post new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.